Hey Internet, it's Phil. Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue is about to come out, and if you're not a hardcore Kingdom Hearts fan, you may be a little confused about where this game falls and what you need to have played to prepare. So I'm going to lay it out in the simplest possible terms so you'll be ready when it releases. First off, let's talk about the name. Okay, so they released Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 HD remixes on the PS3, HD updates or movies of the first six Kingdom Hearts titles to make them easier to find since they all came out on various systems. The next game is Kingdom Hearts 3. This game takes place between the events in 2.5 and 3, so 2.8. It's math. So what's actually in this game? There's three parts to it. Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance HD is an HD remake of the most recent Kingdom Hearts game which came out on the 3DS in 2012. In March of 2017, the two HD remix packs are going to be released together on PS4, which combined with this game will mean the entire Kingdom Hearts series is going to be available on the same system that Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be released on. This removes Kingdom Hearts' biggest barrier to entry, which is all the different systems the games came out on, so that's a really good thing. Dream Drop Distance is about Sora and Rigu taking a test to become Keyblade Masters by going into the past to wake up some of the worlds that fell to darkness during Kingdom Hearts 1. Xehanort, whose various alter egos Sora defeated during Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, is now gathering allies for his final battle. Sora is going to have to awaken the hidden memories inside him that will wake the sleeping allies that have fallen in earlier parts of the story. To fully understand this game at a minimum, I suggest having played, watched, or otherwise experienced Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, and Birth by Sleep. It's not a bad idea to quickly refresh yourself on them if it's been a while too, as it'll make more sense. This game is, besides just being personally one of my favorites, a bridge between the last few games in Kingdom Hearts 3, setting up the central conflict and status quo going into the next part of the series, so it's definitely an important one that I think everyone should play. Next up in the pack is 0.2 Birth by Sleep, A Fragmentary Passage. This is a short 3-4 hour game featuring Aqua from Birth by Sleep during her time in the Realm of Darkness following that game, as well as Mickey Mouse on his quest there during Kingdom Hearts 1. It's our first look at how Kingdom Hearts will play on the PS4, as well as filling in a gap in the story that we've never seen until now. Also, you can dress up Aqua and give her Mickey ears, which is like the coolest thing ever. To understand this game, you definitely need to have experienced Kingdom Hearts 1 and Birth by Sleep, as this directly ties into both and won't make much sense without them. Tetsuya Nomura has suggested playing this after seeing the secret movie at the end of Dream Drop Distance, so keep that in mind. Lastly is an hour or so movie called Kingdom Hearts Key Back Cover. This movie ties into the Japan-only browser game Kingdom Hearts Key and its mobile remake slash sequel Unchained Key. It's essentially a retelling of that story from a different perspective for people who don't have the time or phones to go through Unchained Key. This story is the earliest in the Kingdom Hearts chronology, taking place during the Keyblade War that is the backbone of the series mythology. It stars the six foretellers, students of the Master of Masters who is one of the earliest Keyblade wielders. This will have a ton of cool lore in it and it connects to the future of the series, as we know that the Book of Prophecy that Maleficent is after, and Xehanort's Keyblade which has been hinted to have great significance, are both involved. The movie doesn't seem to need any specific games to make sense of, but it's definitely intended for series veterans, so I'd recommend experiencing as much of the series as possible before tackling this one. Kingdom Hearts can be complicated to say the least, but it's never been easier to experience the whole thing, so now's a great time to get in. That being said, 2.8 is definitely not a game for newcomers, so if you're trying to get into the series for the first time in preparation for Kingdom Hearts 3, you definitely want to start with the 1.5 and 2.5 HD Remix packs, which again are available separately on PS3 or together on PS4 later this year. If you're trying to get back into the series after an absence, it wouldn't be a bad idea to look up some summaries online, there's certainly plenty on YouTube to catch you up if you don't want to replay every game. And of course, if you want to be a true expert and learn about every aspect of the story in excruciating detail, I have a series for that, so check out Storytime Kingdom Hearts for an in-depth summary and analysis of every game up to 2.8. Hopefully that made everything easy to understand, but if you have any questions on preparing for this game or on Kingdom Hearts lore or anything in general, let me know in the comments section below. Give this video a like if you are so inclined, share it around to anyone you think it might help, subscribe to see more videos, and I will see you soon.